بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آپ کا میزبان عارف جہانگیری ایک دفعہ پھر جناب کمیونٹی راک کے پروگرام کے ساتھ حاضر ہے ایز یو نو دیٹ فرام لاسٹ کپل آف ویکس آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو برنگ دا پیپلس ہو آر رننگ فار دا کونسلر الیکشن ریجنل کونسلر الیکشن بیکاز آن دا ٹوینٹی فورتھ آف اکٹوبر وی آر ایکسپیکٹنگ اوور کونسلر اینڈ سٹی ٹاؤن آل الیکشن سو ٹوڈے آئی انوائٹیڈ آن دیٹ سیریز اے ویری پرومیننٹ لیڈر آف اوور کمیونٹی and she is serving from last four years in, as a counselor in the Milton Ward 4. And I know that in I've, several times I ask her to come in my program and she come and she give a lot of things about her community that what she is doing in there. But today is our chance we can ask again at the end of this uh, whole four years what she did in Ward 4. So welcome in my community talk, Samir Ali. Samir Ali, thank you very much for coming to community talk. Thank you so much, Aribai. Thank you for having me in your show. You are the existing councillor for Ward 4, right? And you decided to run for the regional councillor for Ward 4 as well. First of all, my audience and everybody want to know that Samira Ali, as a councillor of Ward 4, what she did in the last four years. So please let us know. Thank you so much, Jari Bhai, for this opportunity. Uh, because it gives me an opportunity to share all the things that I've been do, able to do for my community. And I will start by saying I got elected in 2018. And right when you're elected, you are fresh because mm. you have just knocked all of your ward. You have collected all the ideas and issues that are faced by your residents, your neighbors in your ward. So when I knocked doors in 2018, one of the biggest concerns were speeding issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so one of the first things I did as a new councillor was bring forward a slow down signs motion. Isse pehle kabhi bhi town of Milton mein slow down signs available nahi thai. Mainne dekhe bhoat saare aapke bhoat saare aapke bhoat saare. Toh woh kabhi bhi available nahi thai. Toh us signs ki motion ko mein le kar hai. Actually us pe opposition bhi ki kuch councillors ne. Ki iski cost bhoat hai. And believe it or not it was less than two thousand dollars. The cost to the municipality just to get those signs. But I pushed hard and alhamdulillah with majority vote that was approved. And now every summer and spring all Miltonians are able to get slow down signs. They're yellow and says children at play yeah, yeah. and they're free you can go to the town hall and collect them or mm -hmm. you could contact your local counselor and you can get it through them as well mm -hmm. that's one of the first things i did secondly local municipality may جو آپ کے لوکل ایشیوز ہوتے ہیں نا بعض اوقات وہ چھوٹے بھی ایشیوز ہوتے ہیں لیکن those are the campaign issues my campaign promise was to stop the development of a six story building that was approved by the previous council in the middle of a park okay it's called sunny mount park اور میں اس پارک کے ساتھ ہی رہتی ہوں تو ہم کچھ گروپ آف کنسرن سیٹیزنز نے ایکچولی اپنا ایک ایڈوکیسی گروپ بھی بنایا تھا and we were fighting with the town against it And when the opportunity presented itself, I ran as a counselor. Mm -hmm. I won, alhamdulillah, with 52% majority. The first thing I did was have a meeting with our counselors and mayor and staff and ask the town to buy the land back from the developer mm -hmm. so that there can be no six-story building in the middle of a park. Of course, the town was not able to buy it, but throughout the years, I was able to work with our town CAO mm -hmm. and uh, our staff to ask the developer to finish that project and instead they're going to bring a daycare center there. Okay. Now daycare center is ideal for a park setting because right next to the park is oh, a yes. school. Oh definitely. It's the NJ MacArthur school. Yeah. So I'm very proud to have delivered that for my ward. Another thing that I heard at the doors, especially from our Muslim community, is that we don't have any places of worship zoning. That mm. is a big concern for the community. Community has to fight with developers to get zoning done for any piece of land they need to buy. Now, developers have deep pockets. They're able to buy a lot of property with a lot of money. Faith groups, for example, mosque groups, church groups, temple groups, they don't have that much money. So they have to fight with developers and usually the developer outbids them. So Alhamdulillah, with the work of our new CAO, we had a new CAO join us in 2010, 2020. And with, with the help of our new CEO, we started a places of worship zoning process where now, uh, whenever there are new land parcels open in Milton, we will have pre-existing zoned places of worship. So that process has started. And I really worked hard with our town CAO and of course, Councillor Hamid, who is my regional counselor in Ward 4. Mm -hmm. We worked hard to get this done because that was one of the top things we were hearing yes, at the doors. Especially, I know that MAM is not able to buy the land very yes. nearby. They are trying a long time, right? Yes. 
and uh, many other organizations, they are trying actually to buy the land there they because are. they want to f set up the mosque, right? So I, yeah. it's, it's really, and all definitely with the churches and the temples as well. Yes. I'm and it sure. was a beautiful site because we did a consultation process and Alhamdulillah, all faith groups, brothers mm. and sisters from all mosques, church, temple, they joined that consultation process. Everybody presented their mm. ideas, what they wanted. Some congregations are big, so they have different issues. Some mm -hmm. are small, so they need a small space. Mm -hmm. Some need it multi-purpose, so it can be a mosque, a community center, and mm -hmm. also perhaps a bar basketball court mm -hmm. for the young yes, people. Yes, definitely. Yes, so uh, the process is ongoing, but it has started. I'm very happy to share that I played a small part in getting that done. Another thing I'm very passionate about is diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. This has never been done in Milton. Okay. When I got in elected, I asked my staff, who is our diversity and inclusion officer? We okay. had nobody. Okay. So we had never looked at any of our future or ongoing projects with that lens. Mm -hmm. And that also includes people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. you know? okay. So in that light, I was able to bring forward Milton's first accessible swing, which is a wheelchair swing. Milton never had one. Okay. I worked with staff and we found efficiencies in our projects and were able to get some monies from that and get Milton its first wheelchair swing. I was able to bring forward a motion to council, mm. the reconciliation um, indigenous rights motion, mm. in which where we, for the first time in Milton's history, were able to bring an orange crosswalk in Milton. It's right where the mill pond is. Um, and so there's many more measures. Mm. One of the things that a counselor can do, mm -hmm. a good counselor, mm -hmm. is to be accessible mm -hmm. and available. And I've been trying to do that throughout my four years. I, I can I witness that you're accessible. That's, Thank that's you. true. Thank you. So through social media, my email, yeah. even when going out to events, yeah. I'm always available. I have a card on me. I will present it to people and say, anything I can do to help you, let me know. That is my job. Mm -hmm. So that is the things that, those are the things that I've been able to do for the community, but I really want to do more. Okay, so now as a counselor, you did wonderful job and, and people definitely, you're proud of that one as well as the communities. I hope that they are satisfied about your work and it will show in the upcoming election 24 October. So tell me that you are doing excellent job on the, as a counselor. Why you decided to become a regional counselor of what for? Thank you so much. So it was not a decision where I just woke up and I said, that's it, I want to do it. I had to think long and hard. I thought long and hard just because of what you said. Mm. I said to myself, I've been able to achieve a lot as a local counselor. Maybe I should just go for a local counselor and maybe perhaps achieve more mm -hmm. down that track. But I just mentioned um, the issue of um, inclusion and diversity. I mentioned disability. I'm very passionate about social services. Mm. And I know that the social services are dealt with at the regional level. Now, as a volunteer, I've volunteered on many committees and boards, which includes the Halton Poverty Roundtable. Mm -hmm. That is also part of the social services sector. I'm also passionate about affordable housing. I'm passionate about um, providing supports to women escaping abuse because I have worked with the Women's Center of Halton. I've seen firsthand mm -hmm. during the two years of the pandemic, mm -hmm. women are being abused three times more wow. because they were forced to stay with the abuser during yeah. the pandemic because of the lockdowns. Yep, yep. So the situation is really bad. And I feel at the regional level, we currently do not have a female regional counselor. Okay. I hope to make a difference as a female leader there because I feel women's issues are best dealt mm -hmm. by women. Okay. So. No, this, this is wonderful because we want to see more women have to come forward because uh, there is no gender bias in our society and uh, definitely. and. Uh, and when half of the more than half of a population is women, they are yeah. definitely we need the leaders like you who come forward and serve the women as well. So you've served many community uh, committees in the in the board. You already mentioned that, and one of the committee which is uh, struck me that is is called Youth Task Force, mm -hmm. right? And the Youth Task Force because Milton is one of the community where we have lot high number of youth, right? And there are so many things needed for the youth in our areas. Yeah. And you are the part of that task force. So one of, one of the things which is I observed myself, I recently moved to the Milton, a sports complex, although it's huge, but not a very ideal facility. There mm -hmm. are many missing links are there. As compared to Mississauga or some other places, you will find out a wonderful, uh, they have services they are providing. 
I go to John Tonali for some reason is is a worst place to go there, and his maintenance is so bad there. Mm -hmm. And I can, but I want to f just keep on your ward where you are. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go in ward one. But I'm telling you, overall, I mm -hmm. don't see that Milton is really doing much about this youth, which is upcoming uh, future of this community. So as a regional councillor for what you want to do that. Thank you so much. So my experience being on the Milton Youth Task Force was pretty much similar. When I got on the board, I realized that, you know, our kids were coming in and we were making them do things that, you know, was the routine. We have a set template. Everybody should do that. And I sat down with our staff and I said, we need to change this model. Mm -hmm. We need to make this member run, which means the students should do all the work. They, that's how they will learn leadership skills, mm -hmm. project management skills. And so we also started a system where we started providing them career counseling. So we would invite staff from the town of Milton to come in mm -hmm. and educate kids about great future career options like urban planning, mm -hmm. um, municipal engineering, traffic management, mm -hmm. all of the great things that a municipality does, but mostly the children or families just don't look at it because they want their kids to be dentist, doctor, teacher, engineer, right? Yeah. So we started that process and that's doing very, very well. We actually had hired then people from our task force mm -hmm. as interns okay. in the town of Milton. So having said that, as a regional counselor, what I hope to do, I hope to see better facilities like you pointed mm -hmm. out. I'm happy to share with you that it is my honor to deliver to the community a new district park that's mm -hmm. going to come in Ward 4. Okay. It's going to be on Bronte Street. Okay. And it will also have, Bron uh, Ward 4 will also have, towards Britannia, mm -hmm. a community center. Okay. A new community center where we will also have a library, which we don't have right now. Okay. You have to understand that we are the newest ward in Milton. Mm -hmm. And so these are the growing pains we have to face. And we have to meet population targets before we can deliver the services. And I feel like that model has to change now, and it will only change top down. And so the top leadership changes, that's when those things you will see start matching, the infrastructure will start matching the growth. Uh, but having said that, the new district park will have two new cricket pitches that mm -hmm. I'm working with yep. staff. And it will have, um, fingers crossed, a squash court mm -hmm. uh, that the community has wanted for the long, longest time. And so the reason I know these things is because I try to stay connected and listen to what people have to say. Even today, before coming to your show, I was knocking doors and I was asking people, what can I do for you next? Mm -hmm. People were happy to see me, mm -hmm. but they also need more representation, more advocacy and more things in the community, just like you pointed out. So another big issue, which is... Uh Milton is facing at the moment if you is a transit issue yes is a huge issue and if you see the go go train is is stopped by a certain time and yeah. after that is not available the hundreds of children are going from the from go station to the downtown for the for the education yes because we don't have any other university in our town as well no. so most of the people go out of the town either go golf university either go macmaster or Toronto University or there. So, so the issue is that, that the, especially second year after third year, the classes are finished in the late hours. Mm. And most of them, the trains are coming by eight, maximize eight, and after that is not available. Mm. So what, as a regional counselor, what do you want to do for that? As a regional counselor, now I can tell you that I'm really passionate about getting Milton and region of Halton some regional transit. We don't have that. So I feel like it's about time that Milton had partnerships with cities like Brampton or Mississauga, where you could take a bus and then you could connect in Mississauga and then go to your destination or connect with Oakville. That is inter-regional or let's say inter-municipality transit. The, re the, the thing you're talking about is GO service, which you know is the Government of Ontario Transit. Yep, yep. Um, I will keep doing what I'm doing right now, advocating hard and reaching out to the local MPP and asking him to make sure that he's a better representation of, M of Milton. Mm -hmm. Because before our MPP was elected, we had actually more frequency of GO service, mm -hmm. more trains and more buses. Unfortunately, that's not the case right mm -hmm. now. So I will keep advocating for more um, GO service, more frequency, and the train as well. My own son goes to Laurier. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and I have to drop him off at that sta you know point and then pick him up myself. That's yeah. my life. That's yeah. your life. That's everybody's e life. Everybody's in life. Yeah, yeah. But I do feel that if uh, at the regional level we work hard to get uh, Milton and Oakville Transit going, mm -hmm. I think that will act at least help kids going to Sheridan at least. So. And one question I ask everybody uh, who are coming here because this is a recent event happened that. Uh, uh, a police officer was shot in Mississippi. Yes, and uh, and that's the same person is goes to Milton. Yeah, and a wonderful man uh, of our community, a small business owner. Yeah, he was shot, and a student who is working in his shop as well as shot. The two people die in the Milton. Mm -hmm. Is uh, we are seeing the uh, is up is a rising trend yeah. in all the communities, not only in Milton, Mississauga, Milton may be on the lesser side at this stage, mm -hmm. but you will see that the drugs and the schools are increasing, mm -hmm. guns violence are increasing, stappings are increasing, and these are the three factors mm -hmm. which is bringing up more crimes in the society. Mm -hmm. And we see Mississauga was an excellent, peace-loving people city, but no more, right? There are crime every week, couple of crimes happening, and Peel region is the most uh, uh, car theft uh, <laughs> uh, issues happening in the city, and Milton is not far from that, mm. these two areas. So what are the something that you want to make sure that the drugs are not reaching out to our high schools as they reach it out already in all the other areas, but maybe possibly, I didn't see yet, I take around in my car several times in the nights and I, I didn't find out yet. Mm -hmm. But there should be a measure should be taken before that. That's happened in the Milton. So as a regional conference, because you are the part of Halt and Hate Crime Coalition as well. So crime is already, you understand that these are the important issues as well. The drugs is, a, is with our high school students. We should stop them, right? Mm -hmm. We should save them. Yeah. And uh, I try to reach out here, Mayor of Mississauga, and I really talk about this. Oh, she, she promised so many things, but I never see a promise will fulfill. Mm -hmm. So as a regional counselor, what do you want to do for the safety of our children's future? Thank you so much for raising this very, very important matter. Uh, what happened to our dear Shaquille Bai is something that we can never forget. But what we can do is we can learn from it. And what I do learn from that scenario is that the individual who murdered our Shaquille Bai had so many pending convictions on him. Mm -hmm. And why this individual was allowed to exist freely exactly. in the society is beyond me. Yeah. And it is so unfair. Mm -hmm. And now because of that, we have, you know, Shaquille Bai is gone and his wife and his two daughters are without their yeah, husband suffering. and their father. Yeah. So unfortunately, that is the reality we face. And that is where the change needs to come. When people have co been convicted of crimes, there needs to be better system of checks and balances. Of course, I understand that that was the Toronto District um, uh, Police Board, but I'm talking about Halton. Mm -hmm. We continue to year after year get certification of being the safest community and the, the most uh, uh, least crime community. Mm -hmm. But having said that, the issue of drugs, it's increasing everywhere. everywhere. And one of the things I really want to change, um, should I have the honor to be elected as a regional counselor, is to bring about diversity in our Halton Police Board. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, the Halton Police Board has seen no person of color mm -hmm. on the board. Mm -hmm. And that needs to change. When that changes, when you add diverse voices with diverse experiences, mm -hmm. you know, your experience and my experience is very different from someone who's not an immigrant, mm -hmm. right? Because inherently, immigrants fear the police which is why sometimes they go and report crime. Mm -hmm. So crime has to be reported in a better way, but the police also has to do a better job to reach out, reaching out to people to find out what the issues are. Mm -hmm. And that's where the change needs to come. And um, drugs are, I have two kids in high school who went through high school. I did not see a drug issue in my area or neighborhood. Um, the real issue in Milton, let me tell you, because of my volunteer work is domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. I can tell you it's a lot and it has increased a lot in the last two years because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And that is where true, true measures needs to be taken, especially when it comes to the Milton community. Okay. So 
Yes, that's that's the that's one of the issues as well, and I'm yeah. sure that is a, it is not only in our community but in every community. Oh, every community. Every community, these things are happening because. And do you not think? Did you find that how many people who are doing this abuse, they are taking alcohol or they are taking drugs or something like that? Uh, they are involved be, in that. Yes, alcohol plays a factor, but mm. you'll be surprised to know that narcissism narcissism is the biggest reason why. Mm. Uh, this happens and uh, there's a whole it's a cyclical behavior there's a whole cycle of abuse there's many different kinds of abuse there's yeah, yeah. there's financial abuse mm -hmm. there's physical abuse there's emotional abuse and so all of these things are going on and the reports are just now three times that mm -hmm. I get from my work with nonprofits so mm -hmm. that's where the true change needs to come and uh, I have in the past worked with great organizations that are doing great work like Humvee, yeah. which is a very good local uh, South Asian women based exactly. um, organization. And uh, I, I encourage you to invite them to your show. Yeah, Sadia Khalid is very near to dear to us yes. and definitely we will always, uh, always ask her and to come and really work with her as well. Yes. So. Uh, thank you, uh, Samira, that giving the time to uh, community talk. What's the last message you want to give to your voter on 24th of October? What they have supposed to do? Thank you so much. On 24th of October is election day. I invite everybody to check out my website, samiraali.com. I have listed all the things I've been able to do for my community. I hope the voters living in Ward 4, which is the area uh, around the Milton Hospital or the Sobeys or the Velodrome. If you're someone who lives around this area, you are in Ward 4 and you are able to vote for me. Hopefully you will like the work that I've done for the community and what I hope to do next and you will vote for me. Advanced polling is on October 15th and 16th. You can go to the Milton Sports Center and hopefully I can earn your support. Thank you. Thank you, Samira, for having a time with Community Talk. Thank you.